All right, well, we all know that Labor Day weekend marks the unofficial end of the summer travel season, and that means airlines are hoping for a business boom from business travelers. Leisure travel in the U.S. has roughly hit, hit back to pre-pandemic levels, but numbers show business travel is still about 25% below the levels in 2019. Business travelers usually pay higher fares, so their absence has a bigger impact on revenue and profits. The Global Business Travel Association predicts corporate travel might not fully return until mid-2026. Experts say business travel is lagging because many white collar workers are still working from home and not doing all of those trips and obviously they're being replaced with those video meetings. Well, it's nothing to worry about right now, but labor experts say there are some signs a major strike at UPS could affect almost every household in America. New Teamsters President Sean O'Brien ran for office promising to deliver better contracts for UPS employees. Well, he's also been talking about the $300 million strike fund the union is stockpiling to pay employees if they go on strike. Now, of course, there are other delivery options, but experts say they could only handle a small fraction of the 21.5 million packages UPS delivers daily. The current contract doesn't run out until next August, but both sides seem to be gearing up for some pretty tense negotiations. The drugstore chain CVS continues its health care expansion. It's now targeting house calls as the next step in offering customers a full menu of options. CVS just bought the health care provider Signify for $8 billion. Now, the deal comes with a network of more than 10,000 doctors providing services like at-home diagnostics and care to more than 2 million patients nationwide. Signify's doctors go into homes to help assess the patient's needs and then connect them with follow-up services. Pop superstar Justin Bieber is the latest celebrity to cancel a tour to focus on his health. He posted a message online saying the rest of his international dates through March of next year are canceled. You might recall Bieber also canceled the North American section of the tour to fight a syndrome that actually partially paralyzed his face. Now he got better and he did try to pick things up but says it's just too much for him. The 28 year old says after a show in Brazil, he simply felt exhausted and he needs to focus on his health for now. Britain's Prince Harry and his wife are in Germany today getting ready for the next round of the Invictus Games. The Duke and Duchess were welcomed by the mayor of Dusseldorf and hundreds of cheering fans. The games are competition for wounded and recovering service personnel as well as veterans founded by the Prince. The next edition will be held in Dusseldorf in about a year. The games both celebrate the veterans and sometimes help with their rehabilitation.